We all get choices about where to spend our lives. If we hang around the area where we were born, that's got some serious advantages to it. We know the locals, where to find food, shelter, all that stuff. Of course, there are some that don't take that approach, and pioneers are amongst them. Pioneers look at all of the advantages of living around where we were born, and they say, that's all very nice, but I'm going to go over there. And they pick some place where absolutely nobody lives. And that's all very well and good, but successful pioneers tend to have absolute bucket loads of descendants. And those descendants will carry whatever weird, quirky genes their pioneering ancestors left to them. So pioneers are very important for the evolution of species. Now, despite their obvious coolness, pioneers are relatively understudied, and that's because they're really hard to study. Because they're pioneers, they tend to turn up in places where no one expects them to be, and often they're not noticed until they've had a whole bunch of babies there. Now, I have the incredible good fortune to work on a collection of small coral sand islands in the tropical Indian Ocean. And those islands are covered with a thick blanket of around 300,000 seabirds of 14 different species. And three of those species have only turned up in the last 20 years, while the islands have been closely watched by ornithologists. So we've found our pioneers. Now, what do we do with them? Um, there are challenges to pioneering. Finding a new place to live is the first one of them. So in the first part of my thesis, I'll model the population genetic structure that we would expect to see if our seabirds just randomly stumble across new islands while out foraging, or if they make deliberate trips outside of their foraging range to find new islands. And then we'll look for those structures in real population genetic data from our seabirds. The second major challenge is finding someone to have sex with. Now, this one's important, because if you boldly go somewhere where no one's gone before, and you fail to entice along someone to have sex with you there, you're not going to be a pioneer. <laughs> you're going to be a hermit. <laughs> so in the second part of my thesis, we'll check whether our seabirds have solved this problem by being unspeakably fit and sexy individuals, or if, by contrast, they're a collection of losers who just couldn't find mates anywhere else. <laughs> the third major challenge of pioneering is knowing whether you can survive in a new place. And normally, if you're just a normal seabird, you can look around for other members of your own species and say, yes, clearly my species can survive here. But if you're pioneering, you can't do that. But maybe you can cheat by looking for other species with similar requirements to yours. And so in the third part of my thesis, I will test whether, um, whether some species act as pioneers for other species, providing the information to make choice for others, the choice easier for others. Thank you. <laughs>